a lead. Uh oh, did we lose Michelle? So next up, uh, I don't know. I think we lost Don there for a minute. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, I'll jump in, right. Tony. Yeah, go, go ahead. This Pop is Coach Corn. Corn. Popcorn's in the house, man. Hey, so I'm going to move fast, too, because we've got about five speakers, about nine minutes. So I'm going to try and get through my stuff as fast as possible. You know, COVID caused uh, a run on products. So everybody, go get toilet paper because there's a ton of shift happening. <laughs> Uh, sur you know, here's here's what I got co confirmation on today. It's about surrounding yourself with the right people, like being in this room, having this discussion and being ahead of the curve. And today I've got some stuff coming from the big short. That is my big in my influence on this conversation, which I have with people all the time. So quickly do help the algorithm for the room by swiping down, grabbing Sam's face, slide the picture down and update your screen. And look at the picture that I have for my profile picture under Coach K, because this is what Sam was talking about earlier. When, when you talk about the dam broke a while ago, everybody talks about 2008 being when the market crashed. And in actuality, if you look at my picture, that is right out of the big short. And it was March of 2005 that Michael Burry figured out that the economy was about to crash and the and the general public really didn't see it happen till 2008. So there's an opening scene there and it opens up with, it ain't what you don't know that gets you in trouble. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. That was from Mark Twain. They opened the movie up with that. So let me give you reality. October 2005. My business is rolling 10, 15 years, just got systems rolling. I'm listing 10 houses a month, selling 10 houses a month, listing 10, sell 10. And it's just a machine. It didn't matter if it was December. didn't matter if it was September. October 2005, I list 10 and sell five. Hmm, that's weird. That didn't happen before. November, I list 10, sell five. I'm like, okay, that's really weird. And this is in fall months. And I'm going, wait, that is not not something I've experienced before. I don't even know what to call this. December, it does the same thing. So I jump on the front end, get with my clients to start dropping their prices versus pricing ahead of the market when it was growing. And we made that adjustment and I got my clients out of that by January or February of 2006. So, you know, I had a mastermind group of top agents and I think Don and, and both uh, Coach Ron also mentioned about, you know, some agents, th this was 200 of the top techiest realtors in the country selling an average of 300 homes a year. And these are the, this is my, my uh, tribe, right? And 25% of them exploded, 50% of them made it through the crash and 25% of them that I personally called and talked to, like my mentors and, and learning from, or I should say my peers really, um, they had burned through their entire savings. So to pull this all together, I think the thing is really it the dam probably broke by the time you you figure it out. It already happened. And by be keeping the pulse on my business, I knew something wasn't right. And I'd never seen a down market like that before. So I didn't know what to call it. So, you know, I used to go, my goal was to get three months worth of reserves in the bank that I could go three months without a paycheck and cover it. And after COVID, I mean, honestly, that just woke me up to, to say, you need to have a year in the bank. And I'm not there yet. I mean, I probably got about four months in the bank and I'm fighting so hard to get that year in there. So all I would say is get your debt paid off. I did this in 2011. I did the snowball on all of our revolving debt. And I got rid of everything in the 11 months. And there wasn't some small debt in there. But it was my focus. I got rid of that. And now we're in that cash you know, debit card for everything. And I buy some big things that I need, but it comes from a debit card or from passive income that's in my account. So that's what I'd like to share today. And I went uh, two minutes longer than I wanted to. I apologize. No worries. Do you know how many times I've thought of that movie since we started this conversation? And I was in the theater. You'll appreciate this. Uh, and, and Coach Russ isn't here. Tony, you might. I was in the theater, walked into the theater, barely making the movie on time. I got my popcorn and my whatever drink I had in my arms. And I get whacked on the head by somebody. It was Gary Keller. And Gary Keller is the founder of Keller Williams Real Estate, and we were both sitting there watching, ready to watch this movie. So we watched it. Two, you know, I was in front of him and in the aisle in front of him. And um, when it finished, we both we both 
you know, our hearts just sank. It was like, oh my gosh, I remember those details. I remember exactly what was going on. I remember the, 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 the suffering. I remember the, the decisions. It was so challenging. And guys and gals, you know, part of today is not to, uh, uh, is not to uh, maybe depress you or as somebody else said, you know, we're not trying to be doom and gloom here. It's setting you up for success by using the wisdom from the, the great recession, which we did live through and, you know, absolutely looking ahead and saying, what do we do this time? That's going to be a lot smarter than what we did last time. And if you're younger, you weren't, you weren't maybe playing in that arena. Uh, you, you know, maybe you didn't have to deal with it and you've not experienced this. So this is really about preparing, not just in a defensive mode, but in an offensive mode, what can I do? What can I make? You know, what changes can I make? What, what's going to be needed next? What's going to be the next steps? What's happening that I can cash in on and take advantage of and bring value to the marketplace? What can I do to create the shift and be part of the shift instead of being on the backside of the shift in that, in that victim mode? So again, lots of great stuff. Coach K, thanks so much for that. Listen, guys, we are, we're out of time, and yet we've still got speakers on stage. So I guess what we're going to do is just keep rolling. If we could keep it a little short, it would be great. We'd love to do that. I've got time to uh, roll into the next half hour, but uh, really don't want to be here too long because I do have things to get to. And uh, I don't know who can stay, but Sam, Michelle, Tony, anybody, Bridget?